This video examines the learning skills and work habits section of the Growing Success Assessment, Evaluation, and Reporting in Ontario Schools document from 2010. In this segment, we will examine collaboration and what this might look like across different grade levels. When learning in collaboration with others, students require such skills as active and tolerant listening, helping one another to build and consolidate learning, giving and receiving quality feedback, and managing disagreements to build consensus to achieve their shared goals. Positive peer relationships contribute to successful collaboration. What opportunities will I provide my students that will enable them to accept various roles and an equitable share of work in a group? In this culminating task, students successfully collaborated to follow the characters, events, and conflicts involved in their novel. Each student has a uniquely colored sticky note that indicates their contribution to this shared assignment. How will I ensure that students respond positively to the ideas, opinions, values, and traditions of others? In this image, two students are taking part in the process of peer assessment using the skills that have been explicitly taught and modeled to them in sharing quality feedback. The teacher has provided multiple opportunities for students to engage in conversation to share descriptive feedback with others that recognizes both strengths and next steps. How will I support my students to build healthy peer-to-peer -peer relationships through personal and media-assisted interactions? In the first of these two examples, students work on the completion of a project through the use of collaborative group work skills. As demonstrated in the image on the right, when using an electronic form, student interaction should also mirror healthy peer-to-peer -peer relationships. How will I work with my students to resolve conflicts with others and build a consensus to achieve group goals? In this image, the students make collaborative decisions throughout the process of learning together as they build this structure. What opportunities will be provided for students to share information, resources, and expertise? In this sample of student work in an English classroom, students have collaborated on a multi-step sequential representation. This involved the gathering of information, the description of each step, as well as the organization of the visual for other learners to reference. How will I support students in promoting critical thinking to solve problems and make decisions collaboratively? These students work together to complete a math lab. Prior to this, small group guidelines were established that included active tolerant listening and managing disagreements to achieve consensus to reach a common goal. Collaboration with students in positive peer relationships includes skills such as active listening, helping one another to build and consolidate learning, giving and receiving quality feedback, and managing disagreements. Through careful planning and the use of assessment for and as learning, students will have the opportunity to demonstrate collaborative work habits and skills in order to facilitate student learning.